Fini. What is going on everybody? Welcome, welcome to another WWE News and Rumors Roundup. This is episode 111, the triple one. Heading into another weekend before the big pay-per-view later on this month. As always in this series, I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date. Heading into the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania because that is what we do over here. We keep you guys up to date with all the latest news and rumors that occurred throughout the week. And in today's news and rumors episode, we actually got a lot of topics to discuss. An update on Samoa Joe and the Royal Rumble and also a potential few that is coming up for him a very interesting one an update on undertakers and Shawn michaels appearance on monday night raw some major breaking news in regards to tna as dixie carter stepped down as chairman of impact wrestling and a lot of much more news and rumors to cover so let's get right to it in this episode but before that make sure that you savages drop a like on this video because i know you love it but anyways without further ado let's start off with the absolute latest on samoa joe and new rumors coming out that he might actually be feuding with the one and only John Cena later on this year. As we know, we're gonna be seeing John Cena versus AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble, and then we will most likely see John Cena versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33. That is the current rumor. Created plans for WrestleMania haven't been revealed yet, but the speculation continues to roll. Rumors are indicating that no matter what happens between now and WrestleMania, it seems that John Cena will be leaving Orlando as the 16-time WWE World Champion. As of this writing there aren't any major plans or projects that john cena has committed to do outside of the wwe so we should be expecting him to be in the wwe for quite some time in 2017 so question is what is john cena gonna be doing after wrestlemania well creative plans for john cena after wrestlemania may have been revealed a little earlier than expected john cena versus samoa joe is another dream match that the wwe universe would definitely would love to see joe has been a top guy in nxc for almost two years Years now and at this point all WWE fans are wondering when exactly Samoa Joe gonna be making his debut now I've been saying it myself that he will be making his debut at the Royal Rumble and this report is pretty much claiming that as well the Inquisitor is reporting that Samoa Joe versus John Cena may be the next big few in the WWE this year 2017 if you guys have been following up with my previous WWE news and rumors roundups a couple of episodes ago I pretty much suggested this that we should see Samoa Joe versus John Cena and if they won, they could exactly replicate what they did with AJ Styles. And I honestly wouldn't be mad at it. What I'm trying to say is that I would love to see them go at it in four different pay-per-views or whatever. Have Samoa Joe once again and go over John Cena much like AJ Styles did. And ultimately, you just build Samoa Joe to the point where in the main roster, he's going to be as good as AJ Styles already. Without a doubt, Samoa Joe has been the best heel in the WWE. So imagine when he makes his main roster debut as a heel, obviously. Obviously, he instantly gonna become the top heel in the main roster itself. He's already the main roster in the whole WWE, in my opinion. Again, what he has been doing in NXT has just been phenomenal. And on some recent breaking news, it has been revealed that Dixie Carter will resign from her position as chairman of Impact Wrestling and instead will be joining the advisory board of Fight Media Group. Anthem Wrestling Exhibitions is now in control of TNA. So 2017 should be very interesting in relationship to TNA and where do they go from here now that Dixie Carter is not in charge of the company we don't have all the details in regards to this all we got is a statement so more details to come and I'll keep you guys up to date on some other recent breaking news this week I reported just two days ago the Diamond Dallas Page will be one of the members of the 2017 WWE Hall of Fame this is according to the PW Insider as there was a leak revealing that he will be the first inductee into the 2017 Hall of Fame DDP is well deserving of this honor obviously and it is just in time before his dvd releases on march and we got some very interesting rumors in regards to stephanie mcmahon triple h and shane mcmahon once again there's renewed talk of tension between stephanie mcmahon triple h and shane mcmahon some of it claiming that shane has gained some measure of influence on creative even though he's only currently working on the a talent contract not much information in regards to this except for the fact that there's some tension there and the 
fact that we are pretty sure that the one and only Vince McMahon is pretty much enjoying this as he loves family drama. And that's some very unfortunate news because I certainly wanted Jay Lee to come to WWE in 2017. But case I sees reports that Jay Lethal recently resigned with Ring of Honor and says that he never had discussion with the WWE as Ring of Honor made an offer that he pretty much wasn't able to refuse or even look at other offers on the table. Maybe 2018 will be the year because he is definitely a talent that the WWE need to get their hands on. Moving on to some news in regards to The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, it is likely that The Undertaker is going to be announced as one of the participants in the Royal Rumble match when he appeared on Monday Night Raw next week. Looks like I'm right once again in regards to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is expected to have a big presence on the show but won't be going against his retirement speculation. So let's stop dreaming about him actually being in the Royal Rumble match or being even in a WrestleMania match because again that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. And the last piece of news that I got for you guys on this episode, episode 111 is that PW Insider noted recently that WWE wasn't happy about Renee Young and Dean Ambrose relationship going public when it did but yet still that hasn't stopped them from using it on television obviously based on everything that we have seen on Smackdown and also Total Diva should we mention that because I mean it's pretty obvious in regards to Renee Young actually wrestling a match although television is building to it there are no current plans for Renee Young to wrestle but that could always change of course I do see her maybe in a Wrestlemania tag team women's match as they always do every single year so she could be a part of that way she could just learn two or three moves to perform and then that's it but anyways guys i thank you guys for watching that is what i have for you guys for this uh, triple one episode make sure that you guys drop a like if you guys found this informative and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of dixie carter stepping down do you think tna is finally gonna make that comeback that they need to make and you guys actually think that we're gonna be seeing some more joe at the royal rumble i certainly do let me know what you guys think but anyways guys i thank you guys for watching check out any of my recent news and rumors episodes if you guys haven't checked it out yet because we are covering a lot of news and rumors heading into the royal rumble about the royal rumble and wrestlemania subscribe if you haven't yet for all wwe news and rumors and wwe2k17 content because we in the world to 10 000 subscribers i'm much to see dig it we in the world to submania baby